think the original, uh, I would do it in different colors if you can. That's always kind of a good place to start. W is minus two, minus four. That's W. X is one, negative two. Y is four, negative four. And Z is one, negative six, like that. And you want to, if you have a ruler, it's good to, good to do that. Uh, good to label them, you know, W, X, Y, and Z, like that. Okay. Next, next thing is probably good to identify what you're actually transforming it over. Yeah, I got the benefit here of some colors. I think it really helps to visualize it. You're going over the X axis. And like you, like you mentioned, I mean, you can just do it visually. Like you just count. You're like, all right, X is one, two away. So I go up, up two. You know, go to W here or go to Y. It doesn't matter which one. It's four away. So you go up, up four. Z is six away, or if you're like, well, how far is it from X? Well, it's, it's four down from X. So it must be four up from, from, from X, still six away. Same thing with W, like that. And then really important that you label them with the primes. That's apostrophe meets prime, X prime, Y prime, Z prime, and W prime, like that. So really not okay. too bad. Like it's not like a hard thing to do here. It's it's uh it builds to like, well, what is the formula? And and you're you're gonna see this here when we label the the point. So W prime is negative two, comma four. X prime is one, comma two. And Z, I'm sorry, Y prime is a four, comma four. Z prime is one comma six. Now what I'm gonna do here is put the uh, is put the W uh, first. So the W is negative two comma negative four and then W prime negative two four. And we're gonna do the same for the for for the other ones here. It'll help you to maybe see the rule. All right, I got a ball in here. So you're looking for like, what's the same, what's different? Like what is the same from the left to the right? What's different from the left to the right? And hopefully you can see that the X value is, X is the same. But the Y, the Y is negated. It should have been covered in class. Don't know if it was, but that, that would be important for you to see. And there is a formula for x-axis. So you might have seen this in class. For x-axis, the ordered pairs go from xy to x comma negative y. And what that means right here, it means you're negating, negate the y. Like if it was positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. Uh -huh. All right. Um, you don't have it, but we should talk about what the y-axis. Well, you don't have it. You've you already done them. The y-axis is is similar. It's the x that gets negated, but the y stays the same. Uh -huh. And these are things to get down in your notes. Uh, you know, for the test, things like that. All right. Do you want us to go in order here, or do you want me to kind of do um, any specific ones? I mean, five is next. Do you want us to go and do that one? Yeah, let's do five. Okay, let's do it. So five here, same strategy. We're going to graph the triangle. The original triangle. I like to I like to do different colors. I think it's easier 
Uh, I was resistant to that as a student, but definitely not anymore. I think it's a great strategy. So one negative one, that's J. Two, three is K. And L is three, negative two. And just from a like uh, organizational standpoint, it's probably better to wait until you graph the points before you label them so you don't overlap with letters and stuff like that. J, K, and L, like that. Okay. All right. Now, next thing to, to draw this line, x equals 4, that is a vertical line. So that's another thing to remember here is whenever you have x equals a number, that's vertical. If you have y equals a number, that's horizontal. So you go to 4, and you can, you can either, like, draw a dashed line or a solid line, but somehow you need to indicate, like, you're reflecting over that. That's your... I call it your mirror. It's the thing you're you're bouncing off of. Uh -huh. All right. And so the next thing here is to count. You know, count the count how far away. So L is one away, so you go one away for L. J is three away. K is two away. And what you should see is kind of like the, the same shape mirrored, uh, reflected in that in that line. And then you're going to label it with the apostrophes, the primes, J prime, K prime, like that. Yeah. Okay, I got it. So to so to get these new points, you cannot you cannot use the formula we just talked about. Although there is there is a formula for these, but you generally just just do the normal like ordered pair thing. Um, but what you can actually see is they're all just moved to the right a certain amount, which we can get to. So J prime is we'll just read it off here. You're just counting. It's seven negative one. L, L prime is five, negative two. And then K prime is six comma three. Okay, uh, give me one second, I need you some more. Sorry about that. I don't know if you could hear it, but no problem. no problem. Any uh, questions on that? Uh, no. So one thing you should notice here is that they all have the same Y value, which is kind of interesting. Like the J and J prime, same Y value. L and L prime, same Y value. A and K prime, same, same Y value. Okay, so let's do number seven because number seven is a y equals transformation. Six is like five. So on your own, maybe you can do that or we can do it next time if we, uh, we need. Is this the only assignment for the week? All right, so let's go ahead and graph this C, D, E, and All right, so C minus four, minus four. B is minus two, zero. B is six, one. F is four, negative three. Okay. And then just a nice rough sketch. If you have a, if you have a ruler, be good to use that. Depending on how steady your hand is. And then Y equals two. This is a horizontal line. That's here. Mm -hmm. And we should label these. So this is C, D, E, 
and F. All right, and then uh, from here, we're going to just count how many squares to hit the line. So uh, you can start at D if you want, one, two, you're going up two, E, you're going up one, F, you're going up one, two, three, four, five. So you go up one, two, three, four, five. Pretty straightforward. Uh, C is four away. No. Uh, six away. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And when you're all done, you know, connect them again, it should look like it's reflected. You, know, you need to rotate your page. Don't rotate your head. Don't hurt your neck. Um, and this is D prime, E prime, F prime, and C prime. So this time you'll notice that all the X values are the same. They all have the same X value. It's just the Y value that has changed. So it's still negative four, but this time the Y value is all the way up here at eight. We're just counting. I mean, there's nothing nothing challenging here about this. Just counting. Same X value, but the Y value up here at the top. B prime. F prime. Mm -hmm. Four. Comma. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Please double check those <laughs> on yours. They look okay to me, but always the possibility of an error. So again, um, that's enough for you to be able to do number eight on your own. Any questions on that before we move to nine and 10? No, I'm fine. Okay. Let's do, let's do 10 this time. All right, so this is where I am going to send you a reference sheet for transformation. So I'm gonna drop this in the chat. Your teacher should give this to you, but they probably won't. I always like one page transfer, uh, reference sheets like I'm sending you now. These are really, really good because they give you everything that you could need. And uh, actually this one does not have, oh, it does, okay. It does have the one that I want. Uh, so for this one, the line y equals x, you have a formula. Here's the formula. The ordered pair xy becomes yx. The way that the way that we've been doing it is we've been graphing it, and then we've been kind of visually doing the transformation. But that that only worked for a little while. Like when you get the more sophisticated ones like this, it doesn't work as well. So. Um, what I would recommend is is this table approach where we, we start with, okay, two comma negative one, seven comma negative one, seven comma negative four, and two comma negative four. So we're going to transform each of these ordered pairs. So could you in words tell me what you see in the top right here? X, Y goes to Y, X. Like what? Give me your interpretation of that, please. Uh they're just swapping. Yeah, they're just swapping. Pretty, pretty straightforward. So that you're going to swap, swap these. Now, if you don't have the rule, it's very, very difficult to do. So just, uh, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to graph these first: two negative one, seven negative one. That's in the wrong spot. Tired. Okay, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, negative four, two, negative four, like that. So it is a rectangle. And then I'm going to graph the new one here, negative one, two. Negative one, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Negative four, seven. So depending on, like, depending on how visual of a person you are, you may, you may have been able to do this without the table, 
you may have been able to see, oh yeah, that is the reflection over this line. But you may, it also may not have been that easy for you. Yeah, I am. I'm a visual learner, so that makes... Yeah, so maybe you didn't even need this formula. You could kind of just see it like, okay, this red one in the corner goes to that one, this one, like, but it's 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 better if you can, it, it's however you want to do it, just make sure you get the right, you know, right coordinates here. Now, what I need to do here that I didn't do is really want to label these uh, G, H, I, and J, G prime, H prime, wrong wrong color there it's bad it's really bad one thing I don't, I don't get is um you uh so far the lines the mirrored lines in green that you've been doing have been like horizontal and vertical yep. why is it like is that diagonal yes. why is it diagonal this time it's y equals x so that means that x and y are the same they're the yeah. same at every point along here x and y are the same value Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So that is enough for you to be able to do number nine on your own, hopefully. Um, like the best way to like learn would be for you to go later on tomorrow, whenever you have time and try and try this out. So um, let's, uh, let's look at, uh, let's look at 11, I guess. No, let's look at 12. Let's go 12. All right, so number 12 here. Um, this is y equals minus x. So in green, that's this line here where it's going the other diagonal. Probably something for you to memorize or to remember there. Uh, this one, strangely enough, is not on that reference sheet I sent you. I don't know why. Um, uh, let me uh, see if I can find a better one that's got it. Um, Or we can do it. We can just try it the way that you've been doing. So let's let's graph the way you you said you're a little more visual. So let's just do the S T and, and U. So S is minus one minus six. Three, four, five, six. Zero, negative three, and then three, negative four. So here is here is your original. And then what we'll do here is we'll uh, we'll see if we can graph the new one. So for example, uh, uh, let's do t. T is kind of uh, let's say it's like it's like uh, I don't know. You go up one and right one or right two. So you can kind of hopefully you can see that that is where t prime would be. Uh, U is probably the easier one. It's kind of right there. Uh, you know, up. It's kind of like up and over. To get there. That's not right. Did I put that in the right spot? Okay. And then S, S is kind of maybe the harder one. Um, so it's kind of like, I don't know what it is. It's going to, well, these sure don't look right. Let me check. Um, This doesn't look right to me. Okay, so let's do let's do this differently. This is not I'm not a visual guy like you're talking about. I really need the formula. So this one is x y becomes minus y minus x. So they they flip and negate, which is the big difference here. So that one negative six, 
you flip them, but then you negate them. So it becomes positive six, negative one. Zero, negative three, you flip them, negative three, zero, and then you negate them. Positive three, zero. And then the last one here, that's why I wasn't looking right because I was using the wrong transformation. You flip them and then negate them. All right, so we've got, we've got this first one's in red. The next grouping in blue is six, negative one. So six, negative one, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, like that. And then three, zero. This is looking a lot better. And then four, negative three, like that. So this, this actually looks a whole lot tidier. S prime, P prime, and U prime, like that. And that'll give you the... Yeah, you know, these are the new ordered pairs on the right. So if you print out that reference sheet, which I would recommend, you will want to add to it this this one, which is not not on there as is. Just checking it one more time. It is not on there. Huh. Interesting. All right. Okay, uh, so for next time, we can certainly go through uh, more of these. I would recommend if you have time to try to do the ones we didn't do from one to 12. Uh, 13 through 18 are uh, like going backwards. They're like, what is the transformation? They're, those are gonna go really quick. And then it looks like there's one more page of, uh, of transformations for us to do. So it looks like we got a good game plan for uh, uh, oh, actually, this is our only lesson of the week. When when is this assignment due?